This trial is sponsored by Eblex and it's an investigation here at Harper Adams University into homegrown protein sources and how they affect ewe nutrition and lamb performance. Um, there's 48 ewes that were on the trial and they're all twin bearing, or they were, there was a couple that did have singles. And there's currently four HRP students and some PhD students as well and some lecturers all getting involved in it. So it was a 12 week trial. Um, the first six weeks were the end of their gestation and then four weeks into lactation. My job was to look at the milk and colostrum of the ewes and how it was affected by the different diets and also the lamb performance uh, four weeks after birth. So looking at their weights and seeing how it compares what diet the ewes were on and if there was any correlation between the two. At 16 hours after the ewes had lambed, we would milk them out completely and measure the yield and take sample pots. And then again at 21 days, so for the milk and the 16 hours was the colostrum, and then we took them to the labs and we've analysed fat, lactose, protein and total solids and also IgGs in the colostrum, so all the immunoglobulins. So the current stage that we're at with the trial is all the samples of the milk and colostrum and the lamb weights have been collected and we're going to analyse them now in the labs and to see if they've been correlated with any of the diets. So we're really looking to see if rapeseed uh, meal, which we grow quite vastly in the UK, could benefit, therefore offering a cheaper alternative or potentially cheaper alternative and to see the benefits that could have on the sheep's nutrition and the lamb performance. My part in the project was looking at faecal egg counts and uh, adenophil counts in haematology. So we took um, faecal samples and blood samples um, every two weeks throughout the trial and analysed them for uh, parasite burdens and white blood cells which correlated to that and see the effects between the diets and the use. We sampled at the beginning of the project at week minus six and then at week uh, minus two, plus two and plus four so at the end of the project when we changed the diets um, and we took blood at the same time and then the samples were analysed in the lab the next day so we put the faecal samples in the fridge overnight and then counted them under the microscope using a McMaster's technique. We're finding that there's definitely an effect um, with the higher treated protein diets. However, we're unsure yet as to whether it's the amount we're feeding them or whether it's what we're feeding them um, to see whether it's having an effect on their immunity or not. So I think it needs further research, but we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Plans after Harper are hopefully go travelling. I've got a possible job in New Zealand for a six month term doing some health management on a dairy farm. Um, and then I want to go on and do veterinary, so this has helped quite a lot, this project with that. My part of the project was looking at um, how the protein affected the blood metabolites in the ewes. Um, so we took blood samples um, six weeks and two weeks before lambing and two weeks and four weeks after lambing. And then I was looking for things like albumin, urea, total protein, beta-hydroxybutyrate, glucose and non-esterified fatty acids. We're looking at sort of how um, the protein requirements of ewes haven't been changed really very much in the past sort of 50 years um, so we're looking at you know do they need changing um, to meet the current requirements of the use. I spun all the um, samples off in a centrifuge just to get the plasma off the top and then I put all the samples through a Cobus Myra machine um, which analysed all the parameters for me. Every week the ewes were weighed and condition scored at the same time by the same person um, to map the changes in weights and condition um, see if the protein had an effect. Oh, thank you. Um, there's another HRP student looking at digestibility. Um, and to do that, we took samples of food and faeces um, and looked at the nutritional value of each of those. Uh, when I finished at Harper Adams, um, I'm looking at staying in the large animal sector, particularly sheep, and I'm interested in genetics and breeding.